Okay, I got a little sidetracked. I wanted to, uh, <clears throat> I wanted to see what the funnel would work. Uh, this is uh, basically the, the soda bottle cap uh, plate assembly with attached funnel. Give you an idea what it looks like. It's basically the top of a soda bottle with my uh, leads attached, and those are uh, uh, those are 10 inch. I'm sorry, number 10 by uh, 24 thread uh, stainless steel screws, uh, two inches long, I believe. And the bottle is uh, one of those uh, half liter Coke bottles you can get here in, in, in Central Florida. And just wanted to show you, I wanted to show you how this was, how this, how this works. And the reason why I'm liking, I'm liking, I'm liking this concept, maybe not the specific implementation of it, but I'm liking this concept. So let me plug it in. Oh, does the camera work? It can go. Fires up. And what you'll notice with this is you don't get the same clouding. The solution stays clear. That's the whole purpose. Because if the solution is staying clear, my, my logic is that more of the gas is actually being released from the surface. Uh, right this second, we're running just under 4 amps. Eventually, that'll heat up enough and it'll draw, it'll, it'll go beyond the charger's cap capabilities. I got a, I got a, one of my, uh, I got a 20 amp power supply, DC power supply, rectifier, or a solid state power supply that I want to bring out here and try it. I wasn't going to do that until I create my next set of plates, which you see the beginnings of them right there. You see my materials I'm getting ready to build. That's, that tube right there, I'm going to cut in three pieces and make that into three, three separate, separate assemblies. I want it clear, but you know, what are you going to do? Anyways, I, like I said, I just wanted to show you what that looked like. If I can zoom in, get in close enough where you can see it. Uh, <clears throat> obviously, to get the best effect out of this, you'd want a bigger air hole in the top of the lid, plus you'd want to uh, isolate or insulate the top terminal so that none of the, none of the, ag none of the uh, action was happening off the terminals. But even so, it's staying pretty clear with a, with a minimal amount of fogging, which I think I'll, I mean, uh, I'll probably, what I'll probably end up doing with my, uh, whatever plate configuration I end up with, I'll probably put some sort of a, a concentrating funnel or a hat for all intents and purposes, a hat that sits over the top of it that concentrates the bubbles into a smaller, uh, smaller area. That seems to be I mean, I like the fact that I've, I've, I've done a lot to minimize the amount, of uh, the amount of milking or fogging that happens in the solution. So, alright, that's it for now. Uh, thank you much.